All right, today we're going to take a look at another nice little Zippo, and it's this video is brought to us by, first of all, Prestone Windshield De-Icer. It's for windows and wipers. <laughs> what a great product if you live in the Midwest where you get a lot of snow. And that is made in, I believe it's made in Danbury, Connecticut. And my second sponsor is Coors, and these are the Mini Coors. And that is made in Golden, Colorado. Let's take a look at this Zippo. And it comes in the double box, which is the white box over the black box. And on the end cap, it says regular antique copper FLT BTM, whatever that means. There's a barcode. Zippo, it's a manufactured in the USA in Bradford PA and here is the inner the inner box it's got the same information on that little label with the barcode and it's got that idiotic P65 California warning it's a genuine Zippo made in the USA and this is a special one because it is a antique copper and if you've don't know or have forgotten copper on the periodic chart you can find it as CU uh, it has an atomic weight of 29 this is all marked on this one pound copper bullion bar so there is a 29 stamped uh, atomic weight I mean the atomic number. The atomic weight is 63.65 or is that a 55? I think it's 55. And the melting point of copper is right around 1980 degrees Fahrenheit. And it has a density number. I don't know what that is. So there's one pound 0.999 fine copper made in the USA. So let's take a look at this copper antique copper Zippo. There's a first look. It's very plain, but it is unique because they haven't made that many copper Zippos. The older ones are nicer, but I don't have any of those, I don't think. It's really plain. It's got good stampings on it. J of, what is it, 19? Bradford PA made in the USA and the only other one I could find quickly in my collection was this one that's another copper it's pretty plain except for that front little bit of etching on it and this was made in looks like E is that an E? yeah E of 18 so this one's got a steel insert Lights up nice. Got a real good sound. Let's do a drop test on this copper. That's not good. Let's try another drop test, see if it doesn't fail this time. Okay, second time it passed the lit drop test. That is the copper, antique copper. And copper, as you no doubt know, is used in so many things. If you're an electrician or a plumber, you know that it's, it's your, your one basic metal you use all the time. It's also used in these nice little wristbands, copper magnetic. You can still get these. So that is a nice antique copper Zippo. Definitely deserves the little cowbell. And maybe a little more cowbell. Knuckle bomb.